We should be angry. Hey everyone, I am very excited to announce that I will be returning to the Haunting Universe in Season 2, The Haunting of Bly Manor. I play Danny, a governess who takes care of two very unusual children. Our incredible writing team is writing the new season right now, and uh, I'm so excited to get going. Um, It'll hit Netflix in 2020, and I think you're going to More love it. goodness into the world. So thank you so much, Stan. I hope that your bodybuilding, your first pro bodybuilding thing went well in June in Miami. That sounds incredible. Uh, you're awesome. Thank you. This one has bubbles. This one doesn't. I don't know if that has any significance. That's what you do with one. Looks like water. Tastes like water. <laughs> mm. They definitely taste different. Okay, I'm gonna continue tomorrow because I can't like listen to my voice anymore. But I'm so excited to tell you about the room, the secret of the red room. Yeah, were you in the street or was it the Yeah, we we were told the twist uh, at the beginning. So we knew, we knew, uh, we knew all of, all of that right from the beginning. The script hadn't been written yet. He wrote, Mike wrote episode 10, way into filming. So we knew what was going to happen. We knew, did you know? I didn't know until I read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like every script that came in, like I had no idea what was going to happen. And I was like, pour into it immediately. <laughs> Shout out goes to Brandon Curtis, who's from North Brookfield, Massachusetts, which is a very small town, but an amazing town filled with amazing people. Um, so he tells me. Uh, uh, he donated because he believes in women's rights and equality and opportunities for women. So he's helping create them. And we thank you so, so much. Thank you for your generosity. And thank you for loving Nellie. Living on a rainy day, I would listen to Barefoot in the Park by um, James Blake and Rosalia. It's nice. I think really it has a full environment, like it feels vast. I don't have a license, so I don't drive anywhere, but I've sat in a car and listened to so it. So excited to be connecting with you. Thank you so much for your generosity, and I'm going to allow, like, make it so you can swipe up, and then you can see a video that she suggested to me, a music video that's really, really cool. Yes. Okay. So that's a little intermission. Stan. He says his, his name is John, but his friends call him Stan, so it's Stan. Uh, <laughs> he works in government offices in and around DC, and he is working with a lot of women, primarily women, apparently, and they're amazing and he sees that and so he wanted to support other women who are passionate about the work they're doing in their efforts to be creative uh, excuse and me, excuse me. oh now Nell Crane? Yes. Um, <laughs> she's great <laughs> she's uh, the youngest of the uh, Crane siblings she's a twin with um, Luke Crane who's played by Oliver Jackson Cohen right there yeah and um, it, it, it was an incredible process. I mean, Nell is very, you know, I, on, I obviously like love her very much. Um, she's incredibly sensitive um, and impacted by a lot of the experiences that she had in this haunted house. And uh, she really wants to heal. And she really wants to reach out to her family. And she feels really drawn to um, her siblings and finds it really important to be together 
and uh, and to heal together. And uh, and you see her reaching out and, and trying to moderate, you know, so many of these things that the siblings seem to fight about. And she thinks that we shouldn't be fighting. You know, we should be uh, we should be together. Give some shout outs because that I'm really really struggling with technology today. So, um, I probably nobody else cares, but, um, yeah. This is really hard to do because there's so much I want to say, but, uh, the first shout out goes to Ani Halar, who is incredible. Thank you so much for all your words. I'm so excited to connect with you. Um, she's a camera operator and, um, screenwriter in Russia and she really gets what we're talking about with CNT when it comes to raising up authentic and underrepresented voices about being yourself and about using humor in the face of tragedy and suffering in the world. And I am so, so excited to be connecting with you. So I've been seeing that a lot of people are, um trying to vote for other countries and can't and that means uh, thank you so so much um i don't really know how this works or why that is but um